All right, take take me inside Chris's world. Like, how how much of a romantic guy are you? Um, I, I guess I don't know where it originates from. I mean, the truth is, it should come naturally. I mean, if I, I don't necessarily consider romance to be isolated between two people. I mean, I'm I'm romantic when I you know look at the moon. It was what I loved about it was that you're walking into a world that is already so known and so beloved. So it felt like a real privilege. Uh, Sebastian, um, when you were approached to return to the Captain America franchise, what was your reaction? Excited, thrilled, glad it's finally happening. Waited for it for a while. Um, when did we start? Even called and asked me to read the screenplay and, and, and if I would consider playing the part. I read the screenplay and immediately said yes. I'm just very happy to be part of that very fine undertaking. There's so many story possibilities of where he ended up returning the Soul Stone, uh, possibly having a family of Peggy. No, I think it was fairly clear. I mean, we yeah, did think about it very right. thoroughly, but yeah, it, it, was, it was clear. I also think it would be compelling to see him uh, go after Bucky and get him uh, Get him out of his bad straits with Hydra. Nice, early, yeah. Much early earlier than he yeah. did in Winter Soldier. Uh, but they they were very specific, and they were um, they really trusted us. I mean, they gave us a lot of space. Comic book movies, but it, it feels like it feels like real movies with a flash of comic book. Well, the Winter Soldier, who we've 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 you know we've dealt with that character very deeply. Did you um, feel added pressure because of all the people following the comics obsessively to portray the character in a certain way? I mean, maybe maybe the first for the first movie I did, um, but you know this time around I was sort of I had dealt with that on the on the first film. You know, there seems to there seems to be a logical conclusion to each of the characters. And when I first read the script, it just felt. Um, manageable and contained. And Cap, who, you know, is, is, is all service, makes a choice for himself. Well, the one thing everyone told me is just be prepared. So I really felt like he left, I left no stone unturned. And, and such the, the, big, the big picture, but he's also in a, a, a ground level creating smaller pictures, the, the minutia of, of, of each character and the details of each of each location and set and world within the larger framework of the world. And the Russos were very were very specific about having these fight sequences and everybody was talking about this movie The Raid and uh, just there's a there was, that there was a that there should be a level of brutality. The focus to the character it puts the character squarely in the historical context. Uh, and at the same time they were they were trying to continue um, what was already established and you go on this journey that I think is a lot more consistent from beginning to end. Discovers the Avengers um, and, and overcomes that sort of like history of, of mistrust that she has and she forms family bonds in a way, whether it's nature or music or art or people. I'm just, you know, I'm very taken by things and I can't deny that I feel those things, so I don't, I don't know where that originates. And it can be that much more affecting, and when you're just in that dark room with a group of strangers who all go through a similar journey to, to yours, it can be it can be moving. I, you know, it's so risky, you don't want to say this stuff out loud, but I'm gonna, I, th I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be.